Hello and welcome to the Game Dev Outpost. In this video, we'll be talking about visual shaders and normal map blending in Godot 3. If you haven't watched the previous video on normal maps, I recommend that you watch that first. It may give you a little more understanding of how this works. I'm going to show you two different methods in this video. To get started, I'm going to pull in two normal maps that I can blend together. What we want to do to combine these, we have to first break the RGB apart. So we need a vector decompose for both of them. Just so we can see something, we're going to preview the X. And then we basically want to overlay both of the X channels of the normal map and both of the Y channels of the normal map. So we're going to make a scalar multiply node, two of them. We'll plug the X's into the top one. We'll plug the Y's into the bottom one. And then we can bring these back together with the vector compose. Plug the X into the top, the Y into the bottom, and we'll plug this into normal map. And that should be working. So the next thing is, if you wanted to add another normal map to this, you just want to do the same thing again. So we have a norm map, we get our vector decompose, hook that up, and then we want two more multiplies. So again, this top one is our x, and the bottom one is our y. So we'll take this x, we'll plug it into the top, y, we'll plug it into the bottom, and we'll plug these multiplies back in. And then from here, if you want to add in a tiling network to any one of these independently, you could do that. Maybe you want to rotate one, it's definitely up to you. Now another method you could use is to blend them based on a mix. So what we're looking for is a vector mix. You can use this normal mix or you can use the scalar mix. It just simplifies the weight. Plug these in and we preview this. As we get closer to zero, we're gonna see the A channel normal map show up more. And as we get closer to one, we're gonna get closer to the B channel. So 0 0.5 is a good mix. Another way to look at this is zero is black and one is white. So why I say that is, so if you want to use something like a height mask, you could use that to blend in here. So if I pull in this texture with a height map, the height map in the alpha channel, white on this texture is gonna show the B channel and black on this texture is gonna show the A channel. There's all these little stones in here and this actually lines up with this texture. So unfortunately the way that this one is set up, the A channel would never actually show the stones that are in this normal map. So one way around that would be to switch these textures, flip them around, put this one in the B channel and put this one in the A. Or you can also use another node, which is called a one minus. Basically this will invert your texture. If we plug this in, now you see those stones appear. All right guys, this should cover normal map blending. If you thought this video was useful and it helped, please let me know by commenting down below and liking the video. Thanks guys.